Ready. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a day in the life as a dancer on Zoom. I woke up about an hour ago, forgot to film, but I woke up about an hour ago. I've just had some bagels for breakfast. I watched a little bit of Benidorm and now I'm just about to log on to my first lesson, which is hip hop. This lesson is an hour and 15 minutes long. So yeah, obviously I'm not going to be filming in the lessons, but during our breaks, I'll be telling you what we did. And yeah, just so you can see what dancers have to do whilst we're still in lockdown. But hopefully we're going to be back by the 8th. So yeah. Okay guys, so I've just finished hip hop. We did some drills today in like freestyle just to get us not always learning routines. So yeah, and then it's now quarter past 11 and my next lesson starts at half 11. So we've got a little 15 minute break. So yeah, just looks at the window. It's literally just reminding me. So basically in October, we had to self isolate for two weeks and I was doing like a tap lesson on Zoom and this like pigeon like flew into the window and then the house like shook and it like fell back and it was literally like dead. I think I've got a video, I'll attach it after this, but oh my God. And then like a month later, it happened again to my mum. Like why do the pigeon keep doing this? I don't know if I can flip this camera. No, I'll have to start a new video but yeah i'll show you because the print is still on the window that we can't get rid of it yeah thank you so i was actually gonna film this video um tomorrow because it's wednesday today i was gonna film it on thursday because it's more of an interesting day for me because we have five lessons normally on a Thursday. We normally have two in the morning, uh, then we have lunch, and then we have a guest teacher, um, and then we have another lesson, and then we have theory, and then also on the Thursday I go food shopping. But we got told this morning that we're having Thursday and... Oh, it's gone really dark. Thursday and Friday off because from Monday we've got a self eyesight to be able to go back to college and there's people who live there as well so they're giving them Thursday and Friday to be able to plan to like travel back which is good so I'm gonna probably spend tomorrow and Friday just catching up on some coursework because we've got um logbooks due in when we go back which I finished over Christmas. And then we've got one piece of coursework for Shannon, which I'm nearly finished, but she just has got to teach us the conclusion. Um, I don't know if that'll be on tomorrow actually, but she hasn't taught us that yet. I don't think, I don't think she has. Um, oh my God, let's ignore this spot. The alert won't go. And then we have another piece of coursework for Emily. That's due in, in April, but obviously it goes quick. So yeah, I'm just going to try and get them done. So when we go back to college, we are going straight into filming our virtual show because we started rehearsals when we came back in October um, for our like three pieces. So in our year groups, there's like first year. So there's BTEC 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, .1 and then... I think there's three groups in second year, I'm not sure, but that'll be like 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. So we have like three pieces in each, like in our group. Um, my group, we've got Latin, commercial and jazz. Um, we were supposed to film the show in December, but we had to break up on the 4th, I think it was, because Boris like put a window for like students to travel home in. So we didn't get to film it then and then obviously we went into lockdown so we're just trying to get it like 
filmed as quickly as we can to like get it out because obviously we've had these routines for so long we just want to get them filmed now so people can see them so yeah that is what we're doing when we're going back i'll probably do a youtube video on like me traveling to college because it is a long day for me and so you can see what i actually have to do to get to college which is a lot also I got little means, like my mum got them me, I think it was last week. Um, we've been looking for weeks to get them, like we kept going and they were selling out. And then my mum finally found them, little moons. The, I've only tried the passion fruit and mango ones, but they are honestly the nicest things ever. I really want to try the coconut ones, but obviously we could be waiting weeks. So I'm glad I got to try these ones, but I suppose not everyone likes them because not everyone has the same taste, but I thought they were well nice. Okay guys, so I've just finished jazz and we did a routine. Um, I've got a lunch break now and my next lesson starts at quarter to two with Emily. So I'm gonna go do some lunch. Um, yeah. So for my lunch, I've got poached eggs on toast. I've been having this like every lunch time at the minute. I don't know why it's just we had so many eggs so I was like I might as well eat them so I've just finished eating my lunch um so obviously this afternoon I've got two lessons I've got commercial with Emily um so that's gonna be really good because Emily's lessons are always like good songs and like I don't know her lessons are just normally good and then we have Ricky who drinks this afternoon his classes are always so nice so at the beginning we sit down with like a notebook and then he does about like mental health so he gets us to like write down how we're feeling today he plays music and then we have to write down whatever thoughts come into our heads like how we are at the minute he like tells us stuff that we can do to help with our mental health which i think is really good especially because obviously we're just like isolated at home and then we always do like a routine at the end. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy Ricky's lessons. They're what I look forward to really in the week. So yeah, I'll film in between Emily's and Ricky's class. And then obviously I'll film like what I do after I've finished my Zoom lessons. I think today my Zoom lessons finish at half four. Yeah, because uh, like on a Thursday they normally finish at quarter past five yeah so we do finish quite earlier today which is good so yeah so you might all be wondering how we do dance on zoom so obviously it is quite hard because we don't have a lot of space I'll just stop this now and turn my camera around to show you where I dance so I have just the area behind the sofa here um like i'll plug the laptop in there and then i have a little chair my little yoga mat and then obviously it looked out to the garden which is nice but like i have like a decent amount of space but obviously when it comes to like kicking to the side it is still really hard but i know some people have like an even smaller space so we just have to work with what we've got and like try and do the choreography as best as we can i finished class about five minutes ago that's why my hair is a bit of a mess, but oh well. So I've got Ricky's class next. I've got my oh my notebook ready. Um, I love Ricky's classes. We just did a routine with Emily. Oh, I love her, like we just did a routine with Emily. Um, it was like full out, but it was good. So this is my last zoom lesson let's hope so yeah i will video as soon as i've finished the lesson um and show you what i do at night so yeah i've literally just realized why do i say so yeah so much why do i keep doing that so i've why won't my phone say still what's wrong with that i'm just gonna have to leave it like that so i've just finished my last Zoom lesson. That's a bit surreal to say. Is that the word surreal? I don't know. 
But um, yeah, Zoom has to have been. Mm, I'm not a fan of Zoom lessons. Uh, it's just like not the same atmosphere because obviously when you're in college, like you're there with your friends, like when you do routine, like you can see other people doing it. So you know which leg it's on because sometimes on zoom you end up like confusing yourself and then like it might get angry because you're like i've just laid it on the wrong leg and i've got to try and work it out on the other leg so yeah we just did a hamilton piece with ricky we started off by obviously doing our normal thing where it's like tech uh put in the chat what you're grateful for put in the chat how you're feeling today and it was really good because like everyone was like excited to like go back to the studio and stuff because I was like we found that out so yeah I think everyone's feeling pretty good I think I might have a cold because my nose is like my, it's making my voice sound a bit weird but I have like a blocked up nose anyway sorry I keep like getting distracted by the birds outside I think I might have an issue but yeah, also, while I'm like on chatting, I faked hand on Sunday. I don't know if you can see it still. I see it a bit. But, or well, you can see it on my ankle. Yeah, a bit brown. But I used this tan, Bondi Sands. And um, it's from Australia. It didn't go on my sheets, like, at all. I applied it with um, the mitten. But I was expecting to wake up and my sheets be ruined. Because, like, we ordered some new bed sheets anyway from Janelle. I will show them when I actually put them on. But, yeah, so I was expecting to wake up and it be all over my sheets. And, like, be really patchy because... I normally use tinted moisturiser, like the, the double one I think it is. But um, I was like, now I'm going to try tan because I wanted to be tanned for show. And it didn't go patchy at all, which I was really happy about. But it only went like a little bit on my face. But I, th I don't know if it, that was just because I was warm when I was putting it on. Because I have a thing where my skin at the minute, like when I come out of the shower or if I'm like really, really hot my skin goes all like red and blotchy we don't know what it is and it's not like any products that i'm using because i've, I've always used the same and obviously it's only when I, i'm hot so like if i have a cold shower and use the products then it it doesn't do anything to my skin but it's just when i'm hot which is really strange and it's not helpful because my bedroom has a new radiator in so it's the hottest room in the house basically also i ordered some wax melts from this little website on instagram i'll tag it in the comments but i've used one that's why there's only three here but i don't know if the name's on here candles by i think her name's Carl carlia carlia i don't know but they're like these little winnie the poo heads they I think these are peach but yeah i just wanted to order a few just to see what they were like they came in a little bag and a box um so like they were all like supported and stuff you get four i've used one but they're really nice and the one that i've used like hasn't gone down like a lot sorry my light just flickered because my actual light thing is too heavy for the light bulb so we have to make do with the flickering light but yeah so no more zoom classes for me as you can see my day just isn't sitting at home like i know quite a few um like colleges and stuff are just having like one one zoom class a week and then they set like work on like show my homework or something but obviously going to a dance college you, you can't just do work all the time like we do have a lot of theory but we also have like a lot of practical so we have to have like uh, practical classes like every day which 
it is tiring obviously and like doing it at home your motivation really drops but you just have to go along with it in the day to be fair so i think tonight i'm just gonna chill watch some benedorm because obviously i can do a course work tomorrow now that we've got the day off like i can spend it all down it instead of like doing it now when it gets dark and like i don't have a lot of energy left so i think i'm going to end the video here because i don't want to like drag it on by just saying oh i'm just sitting down watching telly because obviously like i'm just going to do what anyone does if like they don't need to do anything i'm going to have dinner have a bath go to bed and then wake up tomorrow and do some coursework um i think my next video i'm not sure what i'm going to do in my next video yet so i might ask for some suggestions on instagram or in the comments um i hope you've liked seeing what my day is like on zoom my last day on zoom but i'm definitely going to do a video when i go back to college of me getting to college because obviously i have to wake up super early i don't get home till super late so yeah thank you all for watching seeing what my day is like i hope you liked the video Please like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends and I hope to see you all soon. Stay safe everyone. Ready.